If you want to get your Raspberry Pis talking to each other, you came to the right place. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use socket in Python to uh, establish connection between two Raspberry Pis. Uh, the connection is very simple, it's a low level solution and basically we have a host on the one side and a client on the other side and the device is going to be sending messages back and forth and obviously if you choose so you can respond to these messages. So let's dive into it. As you can see I've got a terminal for Raspberry Pi and tree open. So I'm going to run first the socket server host on the Raspberry Pi 3 and it's right now waiting for the responses. So we're jumping to the terminal on Raspberry Pi 2 and we're initiating the script. So right now we're just going to send a message hello and it replies to a Spark and reports that it received a message. So you can issue uh, a lot of different commands, whatever you want really, and to get Python to, to do it. Also I've uh, made a command to terminate both connections by just typing quit. And that's pretty much it. So let's have a look at the code. Before you start to mess around with the code, we need to install the socket on your Raspberry. So run this in a terminal to get that installed. We're going to run two scripts, a client and a host on respective devices. So let's have a look at the client. In this section, we define our IP or host name of our host. Also, we assign the port. So this is the IP of the device we're trying to connect to. Then we open and establish a socket by typing the code from above. I'm just gonna set it under S for easy use later. Once this is done, we're gonna create a while uh, loop that's gonna check what command we are entering. In this example, I'm using actually the a user input, so you could see when I type a message, otherwise it's very quickly sent. The second command is just to send the command we've typed in in the first uh, line of code. Now then we establish waiting for the reply. So our variable reply will contain the whatever is going to be sent from the host and if we're going to send something that is in this case terminate it's going to quit altogether. Now let's have a look how the server looks like. The first part of the script is the same so we're establishing the host and the port. This is the IP from the um, host so from the server. Once this is established what uh, the script does is just creates a socket and then binds the host and the port to that socket. And uh, we're just checking for errors, everything was all right, so we're gonna get a quick confirmation uh, that everything's okay or not. And then we're gonna simply start listening uh, for connections. When our client will connect to the host, you will see the message printed connected on the screen. This is basically what we're doing in this uh, part of the code. Next, we've got very similar looking uh, while loop. So we're constantly checking if anything has been sent to us. And if yes, uh, we have some small processing uh, fragment of the code that identifies what message has been sent and posts the reply back. So that section was responsible for uh, whenever I was typing hello, it was replying hi back and stuff like that. And they also have escape for um, either unknown command or just closing connection altogether. And the highlighted section of the code is just command for sending a reply back to the client. One thing I should mention, when the connection is alive, it will send the packages and stuff like that. Uh, however, if any of the sites fails, it won't reconnect. You have to terminate the server and run it again in order to establish a new connection. Also, once connection is established, no other connection will be allowed. More information available on the website. You can find the full scripts as well to copy and use in your creations. And as usual, subscribe, share, etc, etc. You know what to do. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.